I say it look like you in a Diddy video or Missy Elliott and they'd be like. Sugarfoot, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well and you are enjoying yourself of this a day, okay? Today we're going to do another fall fashion related outfit ideas kind of video. <laughs> At this particular moment, I didn't remember the title, but it is going to be five outfits for apple shaped women for fall. So I'm going to put those together for you guys and show you in a try on style. So I hope you guys are ready for this video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, honey, so we can make more plus size fashion and lifestyle content for you to what? <laughs> enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get to the outfits. Okay, y'all, so these are the Spanx that I'm wearing with every outfit. They are the ones that I talked about in the last outfit. Oh, what was the video? Eight outfits for fall thing. That one. That, that one. <laughs> this, is the, this is the one I was saying that I wear all the time. I want to show you guys what it looks like on. So these are super thin, um, but the thing about it is they control. So if you're someone that really likes to control jiggle as you're walking, these are perfect. And also it conceals underneath your clothes because they're thinner. And the thing about them is you won't get hot in them and all of that like a bunch of layers on and you start sweating because you got a bunch on, you won't feel that in this. Also, when you first buy it, I forgot to tell you guys this last time, when you first buy it, you gonna have to put it on a few times and it feel like rougher around the top band but keep going it will it will begin to conform to your body and it'll be even it'll still be easier to put on even after you wash it so just keep going it is a very comfortable shaper these are the thin sinks by spanx i wear them have several of them wear them with pretty much everything because it lays my clothes better and i don't feel like i'm wearing something underneath my clothes i kind of feel naked so anyway um, here's the first outfit. This is like a baby doll style dress, giving you a little Pilgrim Pride with the collar. <laughs> it gives you a little, a uh, little house on the prairie with the collar, but I actually like the style of this dress. Usually I wouldn't like something that doesn't cup underneath my breast to kind of show my shape, but this is a very comfortable, cute, like just every day out running your errands dress like that so it has some elastic here in the in the wrist area so you can kind of move it up or you can have it down if you want to wear a long sleeve you can move it up and wear it like this or so mid sleeve or however I am bustier so this is what it looks like in the bust it does have a little peekaboo here um, but it's like gapped a little bit but you can't see in it so I'm fine with wearing this dress got this in a 22 24 very fun and flirty I'm wearing some white sneakers from Walmart um so yeah these are time and true they come in wide width I have on the wide width ones and they're just standard white sneakers so yeah this is a cute dress I like the silhouette of it um if you have a flatter chest then it will lay against you even more um and you'll feel better if you are a bustier girl like myself be sure to get the one that has that size above yours. So like I'm a 2224, I got the 2224. So if you want extra room in this, may want to size up, but then remember that it will be bigger here. For reference, I will say I am a 44G as in George <laughs> here. So yeah, that's for reference. So this is that outfit. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. <laughs> okay, so this, I hope you can see this because this is a very busy fabric with this background. <laughs> So this is another dress from Walmart. I kind of skirted over this dress when I did the three easy tips on how to dress your apple shape. So this is a quilted print. It's not quilted fabric, but it's quilted print maxi dress from Walmart. So I like the little slit. I originally would not get something this busy, honestly. I won't. At first when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's a little country, I don't know if I like it. But then when I saw how it actually, the silhouette of the dress on her, the silhouette of the dress on um, the model made me really want to get the dress for me. So I really like that it's off the shoulder. I can dress it down with these 
same white tennis shoes that I got from Walmart. Um, these time and true tennis shoes. And if you are someone with like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna wear an off the shoulder kind of dress because titties. Um, let me show you, I'm gonna put an actual video over here to show you how I learned from, her Instagram name is Trendy Curvy. I just wanna make sure I'm getting her name right. <laughs> Christine from Trendy Curvy actually shared this bra hack. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I tried it with the strapless bra that I have. Um, thanks, B. <laughs> oh, I got this strapless bra from, let me not lie, Sculptress. Um, they actually sell this on Amazon. So I'll put the link to this as well as this bandeau bra that is also from Amazon. She showed how you can put the bandeau bra over your strapless bra and it gives you an extra hold, you know, versus just having the strapless bra with this underwire and you know you still kind of feel a little jiggly up top. You put the brand up, bandeau bra over it and you get way more support. You feel comfortable underneath your clothes. So these I will have linked below as well. Thanks, Bean. <laughs> Uh, this dress is very comfortable. Like I said, I originally would not have gotten it, but it is a very comfortable, relaxing, um, cute dress that you can have that's something very different that I'm sure not a lot of people will wear. Um, but very comfortable and I love the style of it. It's perfect for fall. And if you wanna dress up this um, dress, you can wear it with like brown or black booties. Justine said black goes with everything. I would like to wear it with these <laughs> I would like to wear it with the brown booties that I just got from Torrid, so I'll link those below as well. But uh, for just like a comfortable outfit, these white tennis shoes will do. And you can throw on a white cap, or you can leave it as B. Got you some sunglasses, and bam. So let's go to the next outfit. Okay, y'all, I forgot to show you in the last dress that these are the booties that I was wearing in the thumbnail. These are from Tor Oh, come on, Titty. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody is just Titty Bean. <laughs> <laughs> these are the booties that I was wearing in the other dress um, in the thumbnail. So these are from Torrid. Very stretchy and comfortable sock booties. They're the like stiletto style sock booties. This heel is like a three, I think. A three or three and a half. But you can look at the measurements, I think, on um, the website. But yeah, these are the booties, girl. I'm not putting that dress bone back to sh like back on just to show y'all this. I just wanted to bring it to the front. Okay, next outfit for real. Okay, this is the next outfit. This is actually an older Medi dress from Coles. <laughs> so this is a ribbed Medi dress from Coles. It has some splits on the side. Unfortunately, they sold out of this dress. It's an SO dress that is a junior size in it, but it fits me well, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, I, there's plenty of other Medi dresses that are similar to this that I will link for you guys. But this can be an office outfit or this can be a night outfit. So you guys remember when I told you if you're doing an apple shade, you're trying to conceal your midsection, you don't wanna draw a lot of attention to that. It's not tight, but it, it does lay on me and show my midsection and it's a solid piece, it's not breaking this up. So what I wanna do to kind of bring some more concealing to of that and dress up this outfit better is to pair it with a blazer. And then I have these cute booties on from Torrid. You can transition this to what day? Bean is gonna show you the other shoe option that she, we were thinking for this outfit. You have the dunks. So These are the uh, white and black dunks that I got from Nike on the, what is that app? Goat. The Goat app. So yeah, that is another <laughs> shoe option. <laughs> so this is a uh, full outfit, very comfortable. This blazer is from Eloquii. Y'all have seen this, I don't know how many times, honey, but I get my cost per wear. If I don't do nothing else, I'm gonna get my cost per wear. And these are the same boots from Torrid that I showed you earlier. They're like three, three and a half inches. So they're a really good height that is comfortable if you're like going to and fro. I don't be walking in heels like all day. So I need to go to my location, sit, go to the car, sit, go to the house, sit. Like it's not a whole bunch of walking. So if you're somebody that wants something that is like a little thicker and you're not too stable in these thinner heels, then you may wanna go through that. But I really like these, they're very comfortable. So yeah, that is this outfit. I'll have picture inspiration somewhere else for you guys to see, but let's go to the next outfit. <laughs> Here's the next outfit. So this is going to follow the same guidelines as I spoke before. 
you can either break up the midsection with different textures, different colors, and then also with a blazer. So we're using two in one in this outfit. So I have this satin skirt. So this is an old skirt from Anthropology. I found a very, 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 very similar skirt from J. Crew. So it's probably a little more affordable than the one that I got from Anthropology. This one. So this is that nice gold satin skirt. You can use any color it doesn't have to be gold um i have this shein bodysuit on this exact one is still in stock so i'm going to link that and then also this eloquy soft blazer where i have the sleeves kind of tied up a little bit i like so and then also with these dunks because y'all know we don't be wearing heels all day and so <laughs> this is a really cute casual outfit of something that you can do going somewhere or also just running um errands or if you're actually going to an event parent-teacher conference you want to be the cool mom <laughs> pull out your ducks you know it's gonna be so cute <laughs> so yeah this is a different um swing on taking a skirt that may be something that's a bit more dressy and pairing it with your dunks to kind of give it a feminine tomboy feel still have comfort so you never have to be afraid to do that but yeah this is so cute i love the contrast of the colors of the uh, textures, the satin look in the skirt, as well as this cotton fabric blazer from Eloquy, as well as the dunks. So it all goes together and it looks really good. So very cute outfit. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so here is the last outfit idea for you guys. So this is a, this okay, same, <laughs> same bodysuit from Shein because who's for the change tops? It's still a white, you know short sleeve top okay so same bodysuit from Shein. i didn't clip this one i just kind of tucked it in but these are some target jeans i personally like wearing my jeans um high-waisted like i was saying before um apple shape and high-waisted go hands in with <laughs> and in hand <laughs> so this is a higher waisted uh jean from target they have a lot of high waisted jeans this is ava and viv and i think the other uh plus size brand that i like to wear on target at target is universal thread so this is ava and viv it's my favorite they have a lot of stretch a lot of spandex um in their waistband so it's very comfortable this blazer though <laughs> this blazer is from Walmart. It is a free assembly blazer. Okay, quick clarity moment. Free assembly only goes up to a size 22. So this blazer supports a size 22. I have bigger arms and I can, I'm not going to be like muscle man in, in this, in this, er, in this place. <laughs> It's not like super, like I can chill. I feel comfortable and stuff, but it's not something I'm going to just be like, I, you know, in you know what i'm saying so if you have bigger arms um and you're not comfortable like bigger arms than mine i know it's kind of hard to gouge what my how big my arms are online i'm <laughs> seeing me via video but if you have bigger arms than me then this may not be the blaze you want to go to you may want to do either the black one or the camo one that i showed on eloquy or i'm going to also put an eloquy option because they are made for plus size women they go up higher and i'm not gonna act like i know what the in sizes but i know they go up higher in size and it's made for us and it's more comfortable but this one is really nice i love the print in it very cute i love the shape in it that it actually has shape and you don't look like this you know like you're just on a hanger it actually has shape and i just paired it with the same walmart tennis shoes that we had earlier very simple and you can put this with a cap if you want to like be mom out in the soccer, be like, go baby, or whatever, you can put a cap on with this. And I'll link that one from Walmart as well. It's time and true. So yeah, here is the last outfit. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed those outfits. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed getting plus size fashion looks for apple shaped women. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, honey, because go ahead and join this tribe, honey, this community. We need you over here. So definitely subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the comments. Let me know which one of those outfits are your favorite because I need to know what kind of the style is of most of the people that follow me. I'm still gonna do my own thing, but at least knowing what you like will kind of help me going forward know how I'm going to show and what I'm going to show you guys that you would actually want to replicate from your closet or purchase and wear so that you can feel good in your body and your clothes. All right, girl, let's go ahead and get uh, wrap up this video because I'm ready to take a what? Nap. <laughs> I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.